I've been waiting for 4.9 since 2020, okay? And I feel like it's going to happen. Mid-band Monopoly? You sound stupid. No, 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 no. Mid-band Monopoly is fucking N41. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, about the same. Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The, the monopoly. No, no, no disrespect. No disrespect. N41. Do we all agree that the monopoly in mid band is N41? No, it used to be. It is no longer the case. No, no, and I'm talking about in just the size of that of that channel. That not really, Moose. Has. They they've got they've got an average of 160 nationwide. Yeah, so I mean, does Verizon. <laughs> You know, AT. Well, then it's not a monopoly. That. That's the wrong word to use. Yeah, I wouldn't use yeah. a monopoly. And that's what I'm about talking it. about. The, the vocabulary is incorrect. It, it's not even working. That's not the right word to use. It's not a monopoly. Yeah, Continue. Know, go, go ahead, man. Forty-one. If no, no, didn't have the N forty-one, they would just die. You know. I, 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 I pers I don't. I don't think it's a monopoly. Personally, everybody's got their own view on things. Right. I'm just saying. To me, on the I'm on the outside looking in. I'm counting the bandwidth. Um. I think T-Mobile's advantage is also in their PCS holdings. You know, they have yes. they have two companies worth of PCS. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. that's how I looked at it. So like they had they were able to go four carrier aggregation on 5G on our channels last year. Right, 2 years ago. You right. know, so that so to me there was a time where you could make an argument that they had a monopoly, but that time has come and gone with auctions. Right? Right. DOD, C-band, things have kind of leveled. But see what happens. Is. See what happens when you make spectrum available for auction. See what happens when you let, you know, private companies actually bid on assets instead of giving them away. So let me ask you. Hold <laughs> up. Let me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Imagine that. Imagine if, America actually being a, a capitalistic society like we're supposed to be instead of if, giving all this crap away. If Dish, <laughs> if Dish starts selling off some of their spectrum assets, right? Okay. Let me just let me just ask this. Step by step, okay. If they sell their N sixty six, actually, sorry, N seventy, which is the AWS four, mm -hmm. right, which is forty megahertz, forty megahertz, it will require a new tower climb to all mm -hmm. the cell sites, no matter who gets it, okay, because it's a brand new radio that needs to be installed for right. N uh, AWS four, okay. That's spectrum that is pretty good. That's forty megahertz. Okay, with 40 megahertz, you can easily do five to 600 Mbps on N70. Uh, okay, okay. They have a significant amount of AWS3. Okay, which both Verizon and AT&T can utilize. And for and those that are following along to Moose, what he's doing, it's it's dishes, right? Mid band spectrum. They have 20 by 20 paired. Or right. No. Uh, yeah, and then 25 megahertz of download right. on one side. Right. right. Charlie's golden nuggets. So so then they have DOD, right? Some places they have 20, some places they have 40, right? DOD, C-band. Mm -hmm. I don't think they have any 3.7. No. Um, they have CBRS. Right. They have CBRS. Very interesting. So... If Dish, and by the way, I'm still very bullish that Dish is going to go bankrupt within this year. Within oh, this year. Come on, bro. Yes. Oh, B is on to something. B is on to something. B, are you on the same agreement with me that I Dish? I don't know what the timetable is going to be, Moose, but I don't think it's five years away. I don't think it's necessarily four years away. I don't think it's three years away. I don't know if it's going to be by the end of this year, but it is soon. And I'm not sure if there's some data out there that I don't know about that makes people think they've got a, a, a fighter's chance to, to to take this thing longer. Mm -hmm. Well, B, let please, me ask you please this. Share it to me. Please share it with me because I don't see B, it. Let me ask you this. Do the carriers, the big three, move like, like Dish is going to exist in a year or two? No. They, they move like Dish is going away. It seems like an arms race. It seems like... They don't think this is going to last very long either. Right. This is exactly why, and uh, a huge reason why, you know, T-Mobile bought uh, most of U.S. Cellular, right? Uh, you know, Dish, the, the bottom line is Dish, their customer service is horrible. And the bottom line is they do not sell phones. They, they don't have any 
They have activation oh, issues. They got SIM card issues. Yeah. They got band compatibility issues. They got all types of issues. So, Steve, that's, with, with that's all just that activation. Being... I'm not even talking about customer care retail or how they <laughs> deal with their authorized sellers. I don't eh, go there. Right. So, Steve, with, with, with all that being said, what? why do you disagree with Moose that they may not make it through the end of the year? I mean, because you just listed a lot of things that are wrong with the company. Be, because in the words of sweaty armpits, you can't <laughs> count out Charlie, bro. Oh, stop. Come on, oh, man. Come on, man. No, that's a that's a so Come that's on, a, man. that's a ploy. That's actually a bold face lie. The only reason why he said that, I the know. only reason why he said that is to just to get them to be number four. If he would have said something like, Oh, Charlie sucks and ain't gonna make it. You know what's <laughs> funny, Zero Cole? You know what's funny? That's the same guy who put his freaking knee on their neck. Every chance yes, he got when it came to point. 600 megahertz and when it came to the right. towers and when yeah. it came to the retail and when it came to the, you know, to the to the buying of the 800. That's the same the, guy who literally yeah. had his knee on their neck. Yeah. And he wouldn't only, even pay them for yeah. the 600 during the pandemic. Right. The only reason why he was temporarily rooting for Charlie was to get the spring. And then, you, and then you got the big That's stag it. talking about, yeah, we're interested in dish. He slipped exactly. up. <laughs> the, these, okay, the three, okay. The three are cahoots to, to see dish fail so they can grab the spectrum. That's why that is their game. That's their game. They don't give two. But dishes spectrum is valuable, man. Of course it is. That's why they, that's why, that's what, that's why Steve said that to get the deal to go through, to buy the spectrum later at piecemeal. That's the only reason you prop yeah, up I, a carrier but, to make. But them personally, fail personally, I think AT and T is in the catbird seat to land anything from Dish. Exactly. Why would they? Yes. Why, why would I hope they, be? they do? I, why would I, they be? I think I it's, they take it's Charlie's a, it, cards. I think it's the DoD piece. Yep. I think it's the AWS piece. Yep. I think it's the partnership piece. The existence of them together, the ten-year deal that they have with an extension of two years as an option, they have a relationship. And I'm not saying that. That doesn't mean like Verizon could get involved or T-Mobile can get involved. I'm just looking at like if anybody has a healthy relationship with Charlie, it's stanky. The stank has well, I, a dartboard I, with Charlie's face on it. Okay, so 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 how? What, why 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 how how how's that? What? Wait, wait. Charlie Ergen is the majority shareholder of of, and, of Echo Star. Okay, mm -hmm. like the first thing he did when when they became a wireless operator. He bought like 50 million shares of Dish when it was valued at $43. All right. I hear all that. You've said that before, Sneed. I got you. So how does that connect that to AT&T, please? Connect that to Snake. So the, so the <laughs> partnerships with AT&T and the business relationships that they have, I think those things being pre-existing has strengthened their, their, their business connectivity. Okay. And so I, can you elaborate on their, on their business relationship? How, how are they connected right right now? AT&T was the one who decided to give them a better wholesale rate on the gigs of data than T-Mobile. Okay. I what mean, else? They, Anything else? Other I, than that? And I think the spectrum aligns. I think the DOD is, is you already have radios up for AT&T. Mm -hmm. I think the AWS piece, right? You're, you're, you're in the same bands. And you know, the only thing I could say that, doesn't work as the 600 i think t-mobile wants in on that you know and 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 that's kind of how i think things are looking i i i just i don't that's why i said at t might be in the capper seat is just looking at the compatibility yeah. of the two companies and remember the direct tv piece like they he wants dude charlie still wants that fucking merger it's crazy he still <laughs> wants that dish dish network and, and direct tv deal to happen that's the only thing that's going to realize that, that's and he's been trying since him. 2012. Yeah, that's the only thing that's going to save him. That's it, bro. It's over a decade, and he's still trying to get that shit. That's because that's the one thing he's good at. He's going to die trying to get that deal closed. Of course, <laughs> and that's AT and T owned seventy percent. So I'm I'm seeing you. You see, do you kind of understand my position now? Why I think they're kind of in the catbird seat. What other spectrum assets do they have in mid band? They've got they have CBRS. Okay. Does Verizon have, have that? They do. Okay. What else? They have millimeter wave. They've got. Does Verizon have that? They do. Okay. What else? They've got some seven hundred. Okay. Does Verizon have that? They do. Okay. What else? Verizon's not going to go for Dish. I mean, Verizon also deploys AWS too. So I mean, there's something there for that to be yeah. said. Gotcha. gotcha. So. 
if they don't if they don't buy this all together, do they have the ability to buy the portions of this that they want? For example, the same thing that T-Mobile did. They bought sure. the portions of U.S. cellular that they wanted. 